Hello everyone, Fatty here from Pack a Punch Traders. Just gonna do the usual morning review of some of the plays that happened, trades that I took today. Um, so woke up today, didn't really have much on watch. There was MOBQ pre market, that was kind of the only one. Um, I was looking at that for a potential open price play. We got a nice gap up here, but we did have some resistance in the threes where it topped out pre market. And I was just thinking if it fails to break down. Shorts get squeezed if it um, their expectations are broken. It's a low float doing incredible volume with some news. Just thought if, if right in this area, if we could start curling back with some good volume, we could get a test of the mid threes. But quickly here, saw that this was going to be off my watch. Um, just heavy selling, um, good steep um, sell off. So not for me. Um, put my focus elsewhere. And that was on SST which ended up being a loss for me today, which I'm okay with. It was on a starter, and I understood going into the play, it's not the ideal multi-day bounce kind of play that I look for, where I like the at least red day. I was just thinking this is so far off the highs that it could bounce and offer that bounce play in a different fashion. Um, so far, I was wrong. I took it from 2060 and got out at 1923. In this panic here um so that was a little annoying but expected at the same time it was just looking good for a little bit so i, I did get a little excited about that uh, a speculative play working out for me um that's always fun but ended up making a lower high and just failing no volume really to push it higher it had that quick burst but you got the exhaustion at the end here and it couldn't keep going once you got the huge drop off in volume it kind of spelled the end for it uh, but we'll keep this on watch as if it, it is trying to bottom out here around support in the 18s so if this could keep holding up and come back to 21 4 for a high daybreak I think this could be a solid move to test the 24 25 area um, so that was my quick loss on that 69 bucks nothing crazy just had 50 shares uh, to see if I should be adding later but I wasn't trying to go big size e either way because like I said didn't meet the criteria completely and that was just a little frustrating but it's expected sometimes i just thought we would get something more from it um meanwhile adn ended up being a great play today uh we got a not a huge float but not super low but what we had this morning was a little break over this range here breaking this high over the 270s right at the open um that was a little annoying. I didn't develop like I wanted. I usually like the open price play. I would have been playing this for sure if it would have just developed some more. But by the time I was seeing this, it was already spiking. Didn't want to chase or anything. And then we get a solid move from the morning lows here. Just taken off. Never even saw the bottom. What I said, 247. Came right back. Um, yeah, incredible move here. Up almost 100% on the day. I'm currently in it. I'm thinking about taking my position here and uh, just exiting. I'm in a thousand shares at 352 in this consolidation. Kept holding VWAP, kept holding trend. Volume burst came back and it held right around a breakout level right here at 350. So my thinking is that, that it gets to four, but I'm up 300 bucks right now. A little under 10%. Um, getting a little shaky with this volume fade here, and I, I, I think I'm going to lock it in. Um, but I have my order sitting on my phone right now for a quick market order. Just give it another quick chance here. Um, but that's kind of it for the morning for me. I was looking at a couple other things like PLX. Oh, this thing's bouncing here. Potential red green move. Again, probably wouldn't go crazy size. Not my typical multi multi day bounce play. I didn't take off on the front side like I like 200 plus percent. Um, just barely 100 percent here. Maybe that, if that. But we're trying to bottom out here in the mid ones, and I think a red to green move could could offer a solid squeeze to the 170s, 180s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the quietness here. I'm just really thinking. Uh, I'm done.
I'm done with this. It might go higher, but I was really expecting a move here. And it could keep holding trend, but I'm a bitch trader. I really like my quick moves. If it doesn't do what I want when I expect it, kind of get nervous seeing some uh, some volume fade, which I really thought some more volume would really continue. This thing could easily hold and could give the extra 20 cents that I want. But I'm okay with this right now. Um, I'm green on the day now. The higher the better. I would I would love for this thing to absolutely take off and then I could play a multi-day bounce play later on. Um, yeah, not sure how I feel about this. Uh, but yeah, de decent trade right there. So we got two breakout levels, the one in the 270s, which lined up with the pre-market high break. Uh, but it bursts right through it. I usually like I said, like I said, like to wait 10, 15 minutes. Um, but then when this one gets a nice push to the mid threes, right where there's resistance here, and there's not really a whole ton of volume here weighing it down, making me think that this area was gonna be a. Uh, well, I knew it was gonna be key, but I didn't expect it to really weigh the stock down. Um, I knew st uh, uh, shorts would be coming into that area, but here you get the low volume fade just not enough selling to really push it lower and it keeps holding trend making higher lows so when i saw this burst here and it holding 350s i said why not is i'm risking around 10 cents and then i'm aiming for 50 cents so i got good risk reward it's right near a breakout level so i'm comfortable with where my position is i don't feel like i'm chasing or anything um it, i really let the play develop and to me, this was a failure for sellers to take it lower and right near a breakout area. Uh, volume kind of coming back. I thought this could give a little burst. This area was a little stressful, but once again, no volume. If it was heavy selling up there, I might be more nervous. But there was really no one pushing it lower and it still kept holding trend. Made a double bottom. Guess where? Right where it was consolidating here in the 350s. I was risking risking 352 to break even at that point once uh, we started getting a, a perk higher um, so might have been my fault for bringing it up that much but should have kept it around the 345 342 area that that region right there where there's some support if it were to really break that I would think it would be done um, but yeah so solid roughly 300 bucks here can't complain about that Covered my loss from earlier. Um, and a lesson in, you know, just managing your trades. I took a starter earlier on the, on, what do you call it? Let me, oh, no, this thing's holding up. SST here, I knew it wasn't totally my pattern. I, like it was, but it didn't fit the criteria to a T. So I was a little nervous about it. Didn't put much size in. Started off with a small starter. What I get, a $69 loss. So that's fantastic. It didn't work out, and I barely lost money. And then once the good trade comes around, which I sold too soon, looks like this thing's going to hold up here and take off. Just my flaw as a trader, very impatient and emotional of a trader, something I'm working on. Um, but at least I put myself, I have a strategy and system that puts me in a position to be at the right place at the right time. Uh, so even though I'm a, not the greatest trader, I'm still able to make money consistently. Here we go. Near high is about to disappoint me. Um, but then once I get a play that I really like, that I'm comfortable with, it's a breakout. I recognize this. Recognize the strength here and the odds of this spiking a little better compared to the other play. Um, because this fits my criteria a little better with the high day break, with the multi-day breakout pattern. Um, holding VWAP. Combining that with other knowledge I know, reading volume and trend and whatnot. Um, Made me more comfortable, and I sized up more on this. So that's also how I walk away profitable today. I could have easily put small size on this or put bigger size on the one in the morning, which led me to put smaller size on this and would still be red on the day. So being a trader is also managing your trades and money properly, um, not just finding the system. That system could be good, but you could also – fuck it up within a good system if you're being emotional and not wise about how you approach size and risk um so 
I guess that's my spiel and lesson for the day. Uh, SST. I'm still going to keep it on watch. This thing is putting in some bottoming action. If it comes back green, I think we'll get a quick perk to the 21.4 area, and I think that could be a solid move. Uh, quick 10, 20% is what I would be aiming for. So that's definitely on watch. ADN here disappointing me. Making 290 while this thing is holding up. Looks like it's about to go off. This is a beautiful chart. Great volume. Not much overhead resistance with the vo uh, with the volume. Like sure you have this this fading and whatnot, but how much how many bag holders are there really if there's not much volume behind it? Um, today we're getting a lot, so we'll see if it could just power right through that and new highs here. Ugh. Um, it is what it is. Whatever. At least I was right. I recognized it. Got green on the day. Still made a good trade. One for two. Still early. Could still make some more. Um, but this is what I wanted. I just a flaw of mine being impatient. This is. 10 cents away, 11 cents away from oh, getting to exactly where I want at 402. Now we're just knocking on the door there. Ah, Maybe at 4, we get a solid squeeze. Maybe shorts give up there. We've been packing it along its way. It's making it a slow grind. Uh, we'll see. But I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but yeah, that's the play there. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wrap it up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We got some pretty good content I've been pumping out in the last week. Um, check us out on Tradecaster.com. Uh, we're on there for a live stream every day at the market open. My my loss was there. Talked about it. Went over it. Went over my thinking, and went over this as being a potential breakout as well. And I ended up playing it, and it worked out. Um, so pretty grateful for that. As well as check out our Twitter. Put the watch list out there. Uh, nightly as well as in the morning uh, I update the watch list so yeah some good content out there for cheap price pretty much everything's free um, so yeah hope this was useful and I'll make another one later on going any other trades going over any other trades and maybe a specific lesson hope everyone had, has had a great morning and I'll catch you guys later